Hello people, I'm Jabby Koi. Joining us is a Char Kirk. Hi! We're going to look at Tomb Raider, the official trailer number one. This is number three trending on YouTube right now. Before we get into this, I just wanted to share something from IGN.com. They spoke with the director who apparently borrowed some things from the video game directly, which is, that's you cool. know, that's refreshing. Yeah. Number one, they borrowed the look of Laura Croft from the 2013 game. The inclusion of Trinity, I don't actually know what that means because I never beat the recent Laura Croft Tomb Raider games. Laura's weapon choices from the 2013 game, apparently the 2013 game has a, a um, bears a large influence on this. Bringing the endurance level to life, these two major action sequences, including the ship sequence, is going to be in the movie apparently. It's going to be slightly different, but people will recognize it if you are familiar with the game. And a twist on river bomber parachute sequence. Again, I don't know what that is, but if you guys have played the game, then you know exactly what this is talking about. Here we go, let's check this out. What's your Nora's name? Looks like the video game. Laura. Surname? Croft. Laura, your father's gone. You can pick up where he left off. I see so much of him in you. Brilliant. Hello, Sprout. If you're listening to this, then I must be dead. I found something, a tomb called the Mother of Death. If Trinity succeeds, our world is in danger. Promise me you will stop them. I promise. I think I know where my dad went. That's right in the middle of the Devil's Sea. Oh, that dude. It'll be an adventure. Oh, okay. Death is not an adventure. From into the badlands. Oh. Yeah, the ship sequence. Yeah. Oh, she shouldn't have come here. Who? But I'm glad that you did. Oh, there's the river sequence. What do you know about my father? See the likeness. The recklessness. Close the tomb once and for all. The fate of humanity is now in your hands. Damn. <laughs> oh, there we go. Yeah. Okay. Be too careful these days. Oh! The world has gone bloody mad. I love him. I'll take two. <laughs> And she's got the braid there as well. Having played what little I have of the game, I did recognize some of those sequences. And I remember from, of all things, Conan O'Brien, when he played the Tomb Raider game, he kept dying on that river sequence. And oh. it was like the most brutal, ugly death. And so that river sequence, of course, looks I familiar to me. <laughs> yeah, I did recognize some things. And instead of her trying to jump and catch someone's hand, if I recall the opening correctly, she's just jumping straight into the water. This ship sequence is a little bit different. They apparently looked like worldwide to find someone who looked just like Laura Croft. And she, this actress apparently is the one that stood out to the director the most. I really, really like her. I really liked her performance in Ex Machina and when I found out that she was gonna be Lara Croft, I was like, yeah, and then watching her in this trailer, she's very different from Angelina Jolie from the previous movies, you know, like Angelina Jolie was more of that busty, extra, extra video game version, you okay. know, with like the, the big boobs and everything. Yeah. And whereas this, I'm like, yeah, I, I totally believe Alicia Vikander as Lara Croft, you know, she's, she's compact and muscular and mm -hmm. she has a slight, vulnerable look to her but also has that undertone of a badass. I agree with you. I'm 100% on board. I, I wish that she was a little bit more muscly but right. that's nitpicking I suppose mm -hmm. so it's not that big of a deal but she certainly has that kind of persona about her. For some reason in my mind Laura Croft looked a little older. This woman looks really young. She does look really young but it feels like they're kind of going for almost an origin story or like just the very beginning because then they have much more scope to carry on making these movies with her as well. There are 
scenes in here that are directly lifted out of that 2013 game. It like, looks exactly like if you brought those scenes to life right. in a movie, this is pretty much what it would look like. I've got the game here if you want to play it. Like, I would have to get my shooting skills up to par yeah. in order to actually get very far in this game. Not the shooting skills, just learning how to use the camera. You gotta stop aiming at the sky. That's not where the wolves are. <sighs> yeah. It does look exciting. I mean, I'm gonna hold out like any sort of true excitement for it because intellectually I can see this is an exciting looking movie. There was only one shot in there where I was like, eh, it looks a little questionable. Mm -hmm. When she was walking across the wing of the plane, oh, right. it looked like green screen. You know, obviously it is because they're not gonna really put her over a river and risk killing her. That was the only part where I could tell it was green screen. Everything else looked pretty stellar in here. The thing is, video game adapted movies Movies adapted from video games have a long history of being awful. The only one I can recall being enjoyable was from when I was a kid, which is Mortal Kombat. I remember watching Super Mario Brothers with my dad as a kid, and I liked it as a kid because I was a kid and kids are stupid. But, <laughs> but as I got older and I looked back on it, I'm like, wow, that was a terrible movie. I tried watching it again and... and I just couldn't. Weren't the previous installments of Tomb Raider with Angelina Jolie quite successful? They did a several. Success of them. does not mean good. Well, yeah. I mean, the Transformer movies are insanely successful. They're not good films. Yeah, sometimes so, you just want to watch. People just want to watch bad films, the, though. Here's the thing. Here's what pissed me off about the Tomb Raider. Fun fact: like, I read an article some time ago where they realized on set somehow on set they realized, oh, this location we're shooting at is also a location in the video game. It's like, what? what? Wouldn't you know that? <laughs> like, well in advance to production? So basically, the people in charge of making the movie practically didn't play the video game. They had no idea what locations were introduced in the games. Oh, wow. And okay. so when you find, when you hear something like that, you're like, oh, bruh. And so when right. I watched it, I was like, yeah, I'm not expecting much. And it wasn't much. It, it was about as much an adaptation of Tomb Raider as Resident Evil was of those video games. I'm holding out, and I, I hope it's good, but I don't know for sure until I've watched it. Cautiously, Cautiously optimistic. Yeah. Cautiously, exactly. yes. Cautiously optimistic. Yes. Thanks so much for hanging out with us. Please let us know in the comments below what you thought of this trailer and how you felt about our thoughts on this trailer. Check out Achara Kirk on the social media. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Check out our other reactions, reviews, and short films. I'm Jabby Koei. This is Achara Kirk. Peace out.